Uh. Circles are small, keep a certain few. Only ever us, just the perfect crew. People ask for. Yeah, I know people don't dab anymore, but I still do, and I don't even give a shit. So you guys have seen it on my Instagram, where I've been mean, asking people, what car should I buy? I made a whole car series. It's a bit older on my channel, so if you haven't checked it out, check out all the videos where I used to drive around, talk about cars. Um, kind of stopped with that because really hard to film, really hard to find the time to film that. Driving and talking to a camera is quite hard, you know. For the people who didn't try that ever in their life, you should try. You should try, and then come back and write some hate comments about that. Just kidding. Positive vibes. Only positive vibes, people. I finally decided on what car I'm gonna buy. I let people vote for it and then I just... I, I just didn't listen to all the votes. I did look on what cars got the most votes, where I got the most DMs from. I looked on the prices, things that I really like. I've decided that for 100% sure my next car is going to be the C63 AMG, either the limousine or the coupe. Um, I want the coupe, depending on, or the coupe, however you want to call it. <laughs> Alter Schwede! Depending on if they're gonna drop in price because they're around 10k more expensive than the limousines and I'm talking about the C63 AMG 2016-17 models uh, maybe even an S is, if it's affordable because uh, of the uh, limited slip differential not really because of the horsepower because you can tune the normal AMG to above S performance and the S is just the same engine it's just a software downgrade but the diff is something that I do realize probably makes more sense to take an S version just because of the differential, the, the electronic differential that they have. So either a limousine or a coupe from 2016 or 17, depending on the price, rather have a coupe, it's gonna be in black or white with the AMG wheels in black, no matter what color. I'm gonna black out the front grille on black or white car, doesn't matter, the grille's gonna be blacked out with the logos blacked out, with a small lip blacked out, so everything, the spoiler lip, it's gonna be blacked out, it's gonna get a stage one tune, it's gonna get K and, a, K and N air filters, if I pronounce it correctly, K and N, yeah I did. Uh, air filters in it, that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna keep it for the re I'm just gonna keep it stock for the rest. Yeah, tinted rear windows, but it's normal and maybe front windows uh, till the legal limits. Professional workshop is gonna do that. Um, PPF, paint protection film, wrap, so a see-through wrap it just protects the paint. So I'm just gonna get it polished when I buy it and really made neat, you know? And then the film, print protection film across it against all the damages that you can get from weather, the, the small little stones that they just kick up from the road from a car in front of you. So I don't, so I can keep it in mint condition all the time. It's gonna be a weekend car. It's gonna be a car that I'm going to be using on the channel for more content. So the AMG is coming to the channel to make more content. Um, it's not gonna be anytime soon. Why? Because in July I'll be moving out of my parents' house where I'm currently living and um, I'm going to live in an apartment. I'm going to uh, rent an apartment, not gonna buy because that's gonna be explained in another video. I'm getting my own place, I'm gonna live there, it's gonna take a shit ton of money to buy all the furniture, move, etc. So I don't know, I have a lot of money saved up. It's enough to pay for the entire move. I'm gonna have some money left as well, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough money to buy a coupe or a limousine, and um, it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to buy one immediately after I move, and I don't wanna take the risk to spend all the money just after I move, because you never know what's gonna pop up. Uh, pop up when you have a new place, what you need to buy, what you have to add. It's always just a bit, you know, sketchy, so I don't wanna waste all my money there. Um, and because a car is always a bad investment, unless you're buying like expensive supercars that only raise in value. It, um, it means that the car will be coming by the end of this year or the beginning of next year, um, depending on how much money I've left. And I may even add another couple of months to that because 
if the coupe or the coupe is, is dropping in price, I may want to wait so I can get the wide coupe version from the C63 AMG. Uh, what is it? W205 models. For content on YouTube, I'm gonna use this as a small marketing tool because I'm gonna add some stuff onto the car and I'm going to visit events with it. I'm going to do tours with it across different countries and I want to join the streetgasm race if you order streetgasm rally. Uh, maybe you guys know of it. It's a Dutch rally. Well, Dutch, a Dutch guy owns the rally to be honest. And, uh, or is the is the founder of, of Streetgasm. Where you have, where you need a car that has a stock at least 400 horsepower and you have to pay X amount of money and just not gonna, it's expensive. And then you're gonna travel through uh, the Balkan countries starting from Slovenia and tra travel like six or seven countries in a week, I think it is, one week. And stay at like luxury hotels, have parties, and of course drive supercars in a rally, so in a big group of supercars around the Balkans, which for me is just one of, well, it's, it's kind of a dream. And of course that's gonna bring content, I'm gonna vlog that, I'm gonna visit car shows, well car shows, car meetings where you can meet me up. So I'm really getting into the car world slash car scene with that AMG, it's just gonna be my ticket into that group. And of course I love cars, so I'm just gonna make content with that. Um, with that car and that's gonna be a big part of the channel. Well, not for now yet, but it will be. If you're into that stuff, subscribe already so you can check out the upcoming videos which are gonna be just different things and only cars and the, the channel's not gonna turn into a car channel, it's just gonna be a, a big part of content for the channel. Plan on owning the car for like uh, two years and then I'll switch it for something new. So uh, one or two years, no, probably two because I don't like switching cars that quickly, so probably two years, then sell it and buy another cool sports car or toy. So I, I'm not gonna make a lot of miles on them, not gonna lose a lot of money in maintenance. Uh, it's just gonna be, the money loss is just gonna be value depreciation, um, small maintenance costs, and of course, things you pay for, like owning the car, I don't know how you call it. It's uh, uh, a, a road, road taxes, I guess, road taxes in Switzerland. That's how it's called, an insurance. That's the money that you're gonna lose, of course. But if I keep it in main condition, I'm not gonna lose like half of the price of the car. Just the damage is gonna still be, still is going to be big, but at least I can return the costs or the, the money lost with the content that I make on YouTube and with all the marketing that's gonna come with it and all the, the street gas and all the tours and stuff. It's probably gonna attract a lot of attention to the channel, to my Instagram, to my social media, and hopefully I can return, get a return on my investment because I'm not in this YouTube thing for the money. Um, as you guys have seen so far, I'm giving away a lot of stuff for the channel. I'm giving away expensive stuff. Oh damn, I still have to make that giveaway video. Um, sorry for that, that's coming up. See my setup, it's crazy. You've seen the cars I drive, it's... I don't do this for the money, I do this because I like making content. I want to keep making content, but I don't want it to cost me money. So that's why I still like returns on investments while I'm doing this. So I hope you guys like this update video on the cars that, that the car that's coming up. And if you do, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell so you're still notified, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!